people? Revan the Legend here. Welcome back to 18 Mania Wrestling Returns. Let's get it popping. We are here in 1986, July. Let's go in July and see what we got. We got Ladies Night. I think Ladies Night is going to be the choice. We get the Ladies Battle Royal. Uh, three on three tag match. Okay, we'll see what we can build towards that. A singles, a tag team title match, and a world title match. Plus, obviously, the winner of the Battle Royal will face the Ladies Champion. Good. I think we like that. I think we like that. Let's do it. Select show. Right. So, Cruiserweight title is definitely going to be Arizona versus uh, Mystic Man, I think. What do we not have currently on the show? We don't have a tag team title, uh, tag team match, so we'll put that on. Right, Cruiserweight title match, like I said, very simple. Mystic Man has been the man. We need to click directly on Tenders and see if he is where he deserves to be. There he is. He's down to the number one. He is the number one and he is in. And we're not going to put a stipulation on it. Television match. Let's just, let's just let it run. Uh, we'll let it run. We'll let it run. Hmm. Right, so we've got a... Uh, participants will face the tag team champions and then have a title match. Okay, so I want to go Slash Invader, I think. I want to go Slash Invader. So which of those two has the better mic? A lack of faith. Oh, is this poor? Oh, is this poor? Fate. Fate, what are you doing, brother? What are you doing? Oh my god, they're terrible mic. This is going to stink up. This is going to stink up. Uh, we need... Uh, we need to interview a tag team. One or two. Run Vader. There we go. Yeah, so I, I feel like they need it. They need it. Who is this Gothica? I can't remember who their uh, manager was. Right, so that's cool. So they're going to go after the tag team titles because they had a good showing at the tournament. That's fine. Mid Carter's match. I want to see if Magnus is going to keep going over. I am Magnus. So we've got Magnus with Dicky at the minute. Lost to Duke there. What's there? All right. So, if he wants to continue his feud with Dickie, who, to be fair, is right up there, like, in the world title picture, he's gonna have to win here. So, this is big for Magnus. If he loses here, then we kind of pull him out of his feud with Dickie, even though he had a draw last time. So, he needs a significant win. Someone... Uh, mercenary is, like, a obvious loss. You know what? I'm gonna put him with Denny. If he can beat Denny, that's quite a big statement, because Denny is... Is solid, very very solid. Former TV champion as well, I think. So that's okay. Ladies match. Countess has been very very good. Linda has dropped the title, so I think we go. I think we go Harker and Countess, and we just see how that falls. So that's cool. Okay, this is nice. This is very very nice. Opener's match. Uh, I mean, Mystic was kind of like the the one who's done the best. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go Molotov, and I think we're gonna go Danger Zone. So I wanna. I'm considering Siberians and Hammerhead versus Danger Zone and Malice for the three on three at the pay per view. So if we lock that in, see how that goes on. And tag team. I just. I just want to see some people. We're gonna go with Hito and Manga. And they've got the power surge bonus of like, I'm pretty sure it's bomb design. And then we're just going to put them against tag team, see if they can keep themselves a little bit hot. I've been booking the frat boy bullies rather than Gramercy Rifts, so we'll try that. That's a, that's a very nice card, it has to be said. Mystic Man has really come out of nowhere to, to impress. He's done very, very well. And I really like it when someone you don't expect just kind of bursts through. We're going to go with Shy Town and we're going to start off. Let's go! Also, I'd like Power Surge to win here. Yep, nice, okay. Keep them a bit hot, because like I said, the um, 
top of the tag team division, we know it's going to be the Darkness versus um, the Mega Dudes. So maybe we have a secondary feud, which will probably be Parasaur versus the New Ones, perhaps. Nice win there for Danger Zone. Two star. Okay, that's fine. We're building that. We're building that. Here, uh, a counter victory would be different. It certainly would be different. Now, uh, Parker still wants a title. It's, um, it's getting a bit stale at the top of the ladies at the minute. Magnus, if you can win here, we'll, we'll see what you've got. You can't do it. No, it's all about Denny here. It's all about Denny. Uh, Darkness going to talk about talk, tag team titles. Very nice feud going on in the tag division. A lack of faith, For so faith. many years, it was the Thompson crew and the Toxic Terrors only. Now we have two different faces on the on the tag division, which is nice. Uh, it, it's not going to be a good show, unfortunately. Look at these star ratings. There's no way Mystic's beating Chance, right? He has been literally undeniable. He has been so good. What is going on with him? Really, really happy with Power Surge as a tag team. Uh, Harker wins. Magnus. Ah, what can you do? I can't believe Chance has lost. It's crazy. That, I mean, I don't think, I, I do think I'm articulating how crazy it is. He was on five title defenses and Mystic has just been, Mystic has been insane. What is, what is what's going on with Mystic? Where's Mystic Man? Seven and three? Ooh, seven and three. My man is seven and three. That's crazy. Claim that bonus. Wow. Okay, right. So what do we have here? One on one, one on one. A triple threat. I. Ooh, what do we do with triple threat? Okay, we'll have a look. Uh, no tag team match. So again, we will add a tag team match. Actually, there's no ladies match either. All right, we'll add a ladies match in. Uh, so we're going to go. Can we do a ladies tag? No, you can't. Can do a ladies. Right, that's fine. So, ladies match, we just want to get some different people on the show who haven't been uh, active for a while. Uh, Elfet, get on there. I think we can go Elfet versus Queen. These two have had some classics in the past. Let's see if one of them wants to step up. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with the triple threat right now. TV title match, I think we're going to go with Rick. I think was the one. Hooligan, Rick. I would, I would also like to do it at the pay-per-view if possible. So let's keep that going. Triple threat, singles and singles. And skit. Okay. What do we have feud-wise going on? We're going to go Magnus Dicky, but Dicky has... Uh, Magnus has kind of flopped it, so he's not really on that level anymore. Um, so we were kind of looking, I think, to possibly go Dickie versus Doc for the world title. Maybe it's time just to just to throw some names into air and see who flies. Um, I'm assuming next week there will be a number one contender match. So if we have Dickie as the number one contender against the winner of whatever this is. Uh, so who do we really go for? Zen's kind of had his chance. Arizona's just dropped the bell, even though he's had a good run. That's really helping too much. Bravo, obviously, he's had a few losses in the rows. We can't really merit putting him in there. So let's just go statistics. Wins, loss, singles. Obviously, these two are in the tag team, so we can't touch them. Female, Rick is in the TV title match. Bravo, we're going to let rebuild for a while. Chance. If we assume that Mystic's win was not perfectly clean, I suppose you could say now he can have an opportunity to push on. Zen's had way too many. I know he's 5-3, a decent record, but not quite there. He too's done well, but we're keeping him in the tag team division. It's kind of weird. We are, we are a little bit light on top of the card. Pierre. It's a difficult one. I mean, what, are we, what are we looking at here? One on one, three way, and then we get to the pay per view. It's kind of a tough one. It's kind of a tough week to book here. All right, so we don't need to make this an number one contenders match. Let's just put some good bodies in there. 
Obviously, Doberman Denny just won, so I feel like he deserves an opportunity to try and win again. You get hit, then you'll get bit. Very tempted to give him a bonus, honestly. So we'll throw Denny in there. Um, Ace has not done much for a while, let's throw him in there. And then we need some sort of upper mid card heal. We haven't seen much from Buck either. So there we go, just, just three good wrestlers getting out there, seeing if one of them can break from the pack. I like that. Uh, one on one. Oh, sorry, this is already pre booked. That's up to you, find that. Is this one pre booked? No. So this one here. Uh, let's look at let's look at the cruiserweight division. I think Arizona's ready to move on. Do we go for Bravo in, in the cruiserweight? Because we were not going to have him involved. Maybe it's time for him to build from that point on. Let's go with Keith and Bravo. Bravo needs a he needs a strong rebuild. So he beat Ruffian but was injured. Lost to Dicky. Lost to Zen. So, you know, the big opportunities he had, he couldn't pull them off. So that's fine. Speaking of Zen, where the hell is Zen at? Let's put, uh, let's throw Zen into the skit. Uh, he's gonna have to do the dramatic promo. What have we done with him? So he's lost the world title match, beat Dicky, won uh, the mixed. So he's doing okay, but lost the world title match. So again, needs a bit of time. Uh, we're going to give him Bonsai, Power Surge bonus, lovely jubbly, and we were just in Chicago, which means we were in Canada this time. Okay. Alright, we're starting to fill it. That Magnus one has kind of f messed up my world title ideas. Magnus is one of the few, like, underdogs who's actually had a, a world title opportunity. Elfette dominates, but Queen wins the match, so Queen, let's keep in mind, I would love a Denny win here, honestly. I would love to see a Denny win here. Bonko. Okay, Bonko steps up. Big win for him. We'll see what, we'll see what we can actually use him for, though. So we've got Bravo versus Keith. Keith winner would be pretty damaging, honestly. No, alright, he's done it. We, like I said, we need to rebuild. We need to rebuild. He's got a win over Ruffian. Now win over Keith. Let's slowly build him up. This is a big banger, isn't it? Dang it! Rohan beats Slashmaster! Ah, oh, these guys are going to be a problem in the, uh, in the world title division when the time comes, I can tell you. As soon as we get the tag team belts off of them, if it stays off of them, I think we're going to see them running with that belt for a while. Big win there for Hooligan. We're going to do a blow off at the pay per view, I think, if we can. That's been a very good feud, actually. Right, nice there. Mega Dudes, are, they're, they're being quite dominant. Right, so what do we have here? Pay per view, number one contenders match. The winner will face the world champion. I don't know what to do with that. Bronco has said something. Dicky is in the mix. Uh, three on three. We have a three on three on the pay-per-view, so I don't want to blow it too early. That's the problem. Hmm. Tough one. All right, let's fix this one first. So we know Dicky's one of them. And then... I don't think it can be Zen. He lost... He lost the uh, the Hell in a Cell blow off. We can't really bring him back. Chance. I'm just looking for a He's lost the Mystic twice in a row, but has been a very dominant cruiserweight champion. Okay, I, I feel like that's fair. I feel like that's fair. So we've got the Heel Dicky versus uh, Arizona Chance. Cruiserweight history there as well. Not too shabby. Three on three, so we have to go Brown v Valedictorian. So this one should be easy because they have their faction. I just need to... We haven't done much with Death Star Boy. Keith has just lost.
maybe maybe we go Death Star Boy. Keith is just lost. Oh, yes. And then we will get us the wrong team. We'll go. It's down here. So Death Star Boy, plus we're gonna have Gothica. Nice. Who would team up with these guys, realistically? There's not much history in the Fed from any of them. Death Star Boy doesn't have any feuds going on to just slot in for his sake. Want to start something with Death Star Boy? John, let's go. Um, let's go right to the front of the car. See what we can do. Can we merit a Chet Sky? Because I know, I know, a big change for him is coming in the next few years. Just, to, just to pop the crowd. We haven't seen him for a while. A bit of an underdog fave. It's a bit. It's a little bit random, but we haven't done much with him. I think it's a good way to reintroduce him after a while out. Uh, we don't want to touch Doc here. Uh, let's get Zen involved. Opening up the show. Ooh. Zen and Bronco could be a thing. So Bronco lost to Ace. Then one triple threat hasn't been booked hardly, hardly at all. So let's do that. It's quite a big match for like a, an opener of a TV, but okay. Uh, Mike Spot, I want the champion speaking. Let's get the champion there. There's the Doc. Uh, I'm gonna give him a little bit of that. Actually, he doesn't have the the microphone. So. Which is the one with the mic boost? Just it. Two on the mic. Beautiful. And I skit. We could. I'm thinking about Devastatia. I don't know, I don't know what her. She's not. She's not a loner. I need to, I need to work out what she. Or, what is Patriot. Patriot? Okay. Patriot? Really? Alright. She's a Patriot. Uh, we have Champ, Devastatia. What's your statistic like? Pop 12. Okay. Get rid of Pop Boost. Uh, which is the one with the Pop Boost? We've got plus 2 to the Pop. Uh, we'll go that way, that's fine. Nice. Okay. Alright. That's uh, unexpected. I, I really That's what I love about using this, playing it this way. Is that you get unexpected future just pop up. Who's got a boost here? Doc gets a boost from the stadium. Interesting. And your merch. Alright, let's get it popping. Pay per view next. Zen versus Bronco. I want to give Denny one more chance to um, to see how he gets on in the singles. Pretty big win there for Zen after losing the world title match. He's going to have to rebuild completely. Here's our big duck. The big duck. Right, four star sick. My man. Right, here we go. First taster of the tag team title match. I think Darkness are going to win here because they've got the uh, the faction boost. Oh my god. Chet. Uh, let's say he did his part on the outside there. Devastatia. Three star. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And here we go. Number one. Contenders match. I kind of want Dickie to win, even though it would give us a Hill versus Hill title match. 
Oh, we are going super old school. We are going Arizona Chance versus Dr. B for the world title. Dicky just can't. Babyface Hill, he just can't seem to get over the last hurdle. Mad. I can't believe we're going Doc and Chance. Doc and Chance. Crazy. Right, so first off, Doc and Chance have fought so many times in the past. I don't know if we should add a stipulation. Probably. The thing is that they haven't feuded in a very long time, so I think maybe we go singles. If they find themselves in a situation, we could go next time. Winner of this will be uh, the winner of the Battle Royal, so let's just put a little bit of money on. It's fine. Tag Team Titles match. Again, I think... I think we need to do some sort of stipulation here. We need to get Gothica in the mix. That's absolutely fine. Here. It's for a Tag Team match. Tag Team Ladder Match, hell yes. Get money, Tag Team Ladder Match, let's go! Three on three, okay, even though we we should have done more with it, we are going to go with like the, the Russian contingent. So we're going to go with the Comrades. And I want them booked against uh, Malice, Danger Zone, and Warhol. It must not have been locked in this case then. So danger zone. Malice. And Warhawk. There we go. Super platoon. I need to get Malice doing more. He had such a great year last time. So that's really cool, I like that. Got that, nice. Have they not got a feud? Have they not got a feud? That's crazy. Anywho. Right, Battle Royal, we need to fill up the spots. We have singles. And a skip. Singles. I want to do... I want to do Rick and Hooligan. It's kind of weird not doing it for the title though. I'm gonna go with... No Holds Barred match. Maybe that's why it's not the title not on the line. We're going No Holds Barred. It's not really about the title. It's about the feud. And then hopefully I can keep running this feud even into next month. Cool. That's cool, that's cool. We just with a skit and a mic spot. Mic. Mystic Man. Kind of deserves a, a spot on the pay per view. The eternal power of I don't know what to do with this guy, honestly. Got his win over laser. Uh, I suppose we could rebuild. We rebuild Jet. I mean, I, I could turn him. I could turn him face. In the, face. the problem is, as soon as Brohan and Valentatorian drop the tiles, I'm going to have a lot of baby faces in the division. So I think we just do that. As far as the skit goes, we can be a bit lazy and we'll stick with Zen. He's done his thing, he's a, he's a popular guy. Gets him on the card. I would like Mystic Man in there, but he will. Will make us suffer star wise. Right, so that's there, that's cool. It's right, so just about the ladies battle royal. So, uh, you can use retired wrestlers in the I don't believe I have any. Alright, so Queen of Mean actually won the big match this month. So, we're going to give her the final slot. And as a punishment, Elfette's going to go number one. Uh, 
uh, Countess. Stick her in there. TK. Uh, we can make Linda work for as well. We'll have Sparks in late for the little pop. For that. That Dolph Ziggler type pop. We've got mates. Okay, we're running out of spots. We've actually got some really good people who aren't in. Uh, Shipley must be in. Dollar must be in. Oh, this is a problem. Voodoo, Gothica. Gothica is kind of focused on her faction, so we didn't need to put her in. Sydney, we out. I don't think we've even used yet. No. Starbright Mother. And again, Mother Russia probably going to be chilling with the comrades, so we'll throw Voodoo in there. Queen of Mean has won pretty much every battle royal. Like, it's, it's ridiculous how often she wins. Ooh, that was much. Sell all that. We're going to go. Where are we going to go? Every single time I get it Silver Stadium is then. Does anyone get Stadium Boost? I should be aware of. Not like to see. Just need to refresh myself on the statistics for the Battle Royal for the females. Queen of Mean, Mother Russia, Queen of Mean, Shipley, Alphets, Queen of Mean. Here we go, we're ready. We're ready! So Queen of Mean, Alpha, Shipley have all won this in the past. Uh, Voodoo's gone. We don't really want TQ winning. She hasn't really done much. Minx has had a very quiet year as well. Wow, Dollar's out. Minx is gone. Elfette's gone from the number one position. Tiki's out. I'd like to see Queen get eliminated so we just have something fresh, to be honest. Sparks. Countess. Oh, here we go. It's going to be Queen. Parker wins the big one. It means it means we're gone. We're gonna have a future of Parker and Devastation, unfortunately. There we go. Comrades versus the Super Platoon. I like this. We need Malice to do more. Malice and Hammerhead is kind of like an easy feud. Big one there. So maybe we move forward with that. Maybe we do Malice Hammerhead going forward. We need to make a few notes here. So it's gonna be. Dev versus Linda, that's undeniable. I want to see Malice versus Hammerhead, which we've done before. I need to keep this going. I want Rick versus Hooligan, and I want it just to fight forever. Hooligan is, is winning, though. It's very one-sided as far as results go, but I want to keep it going. Ideally, to build to some sort of Hell in the Cell blow-off. Would be nice to see Mega Dudes drop the toes. <laughs> and it's happened! And it's happened! Let's go! Huge! Huge for the darkness! Oh, that means we're gonna have to give him a rematch though. So we're gonna have to do Darkness versus Mega Dudes for a blow off. Surely chance. Surely not. The dock has been on fire! Oh my god. I have no idea what to do with the world title. No idea. No one's really stepped up. There's no no idea what to do with it. Wow. Yeah, it's just gonna be it's gonna be Harker and Devastation for probably for the rest of the year. Just no one else is stepping up. She's won the battle royal, she's won the title back. Again. We can go tag team, tag team, Malice, you know, we, we can run that for a little bit, that's fine. Hooligan with a no holds barred win over Rick. I want to keep the feud going. It would be a good place to blow off because Hooligan's won like the last three. Uh, we have two injuries here, Slash and Validatorian. So will they be able to defend it or, or even attempt to reclaim the titles? Zen is still hot. 
He's still hot, even though he's been pushed to the moon. You thought people would be sick of him by now, but he's still hot. Chance with the with the retro world title match. Doc has he's had such a great reign, and then obviously Linda winning the title back against Devastatia, who has never really been able to stamp her authority on this. She's always been like, like just not quite the woman. So it's crazy. There we go. People, thank you very much for watching from the legend. See you again. And peace.